The economy has been uneven at best throughout 2010, but there are some growing hopes that maybe 2011 will be a little bit better. And one main reason that people are citing is the notion of a tax cut compromise being extended. As you know, President Obama and Republican leaders in Congress hammered out a deal to extend the Bush era tax cuts. Strong bipartisan support. That should lead to some higher growth rates, according to some polls, for the economy. And that's because you will have people with more money in their pocket. This may even help the stagnant job market, people say, because you do have some corporate tax breaks in there as well. However, what do you think? Will the tax cut deal, assuming it does in fact pass Congress, boost the economy? Todd Farwell says no. The reality is that this little compromise really just added that much more to the deficit. Bad deal all around for the future taxpayer. Politicians excel at playing kick the can. That's a point that I made in my column and that many readers shared. The risk is you add to the deficit, you add to the nation's debt load, and that's something that will eventually become a very significant problem, even if it isn't one right now. Bob Smith adds that both parties lack the courage to do what's really needed. A tax cut is not a tax cut when it has been in place for 10 or so years. The Democrats were proposing tax increases, but now they won't happen due to the compromise. The Democrats are such a joke. However, I can also not believe the Republicans who were elected to stop this runaway spending and did not stand firm. And the reader is a good point. Don't call it a tax cut. You're really preventing tax increases from going into uh, effect is really what this uh, compromise is actually doing. Taxes are going to stay right where they are. Finally, M. Campbell Crockett said he's skeptical of claims that lower taxes will solve the problems in the job market. Were I suddenly to become a member of the class earning more than $250,000 a year, I can't envision my spending habits changing regardless of what happens to the tax structure. I'm not trying to impress the Joneses, nor am I impressed by the Joneses. How does extending the Bush tax cuts to everyone increase demand and, as a result, increase employment? Of course, you do have to remember that the compromise would extend tax cuts for the middle class as well as the wealthy. So, of course, uh, you know those making over $250,000 are not the only ones that will benefit from the lower tax rates. That said, I don't think that lower tax rates are really the answer if you're trying to find solutions to the problem in the job market. Sure, maybe higher levels of consumer spending will come about as a result of the lower tax rates. That's definitely possible, but I don't think it's going to be such an explosion in demand that it will cause many corporations that are citing weak demand as an excuse to not hire again as something that's going to spur them to go out.